Week three, quick update, things that are important to note. Number one, the due dates, it is still Friday. Work with me on this one. I know it's a very, very tight timeline. There's a reason for that, and that reason will become apparent in weeks four and five. Second thing, because the timeline is tight, I have opened up a massive deck of consultation times. I'm basically available Tuesday, night post lecture, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday this week. And you'll note the Friday one is taking as close to deadline, but I don't mind. If there's a last minute question you need to ask, I'm making myself available so you can ask it. The other thing that's in play is that we have the draft reads. The people who have submitted for the Monday night deadline that has just passed, your materials will be available to you shortly, if not by the time you see this video. We have a Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night draft reads. You don't have to use any of them, you can use all of them. But basically, again, each one needs to close so I can give you feedback. So if you submit to the Thursday, when I finish the feedback, I will close that. The feedback will then be available to you. Same deal for Wednesday. It has a hard deadline, so I can go in, read, comment, review, and then give back to you. If I don't use the hard deadlines and I don't do that, you can't see your feedback until I finally close it, and that would be Friday, and that would be too late. So this is also a point where I know a bunch of people are going to get confused really quickly. It's really important that you just decide if you want to use the draft, what date you want to get the draft in. If you don't want to use the draft, that's okay as well. You don't have to use the drafts. They are there as an option. Same goes for consultation. You don't have to come and see me. It's just something that's being made available to you if that helps. Also for the assessment tasks, the additional information that is currently in play is you will see that we have criteria for the practical assignment. There is criteria, there is the planning, document with an annotation to it. There's the registration document, an annotation of the registration document. These are the explanations. There's also an assessment timeline. The annotation for that is in the back end of the plan. All of these are about trying to explain expectations and make life easier for you. Same goes for the assessment for the theory stream. You do have a criteria that's in place to explain it. It's a lot harder to do a sort of uh, here's what I expect uh, annotation document because it's an essay and you're familiar with them and it's a pretty straightforward essay at that. From what I've seen in the feedback and I've given so far in the draft reviews, don't forget that if you make an assertion, support that assertion. That's the key for the theory team. Make an assertion, support an assertion. Stuff is in place, things are underway. Also, there is a semester planning timeline document for the theory team. You don't have to submit this. This was given to you because I think it's actually useful to go and map your semester out for your due dates, timelines, and everything else that's going to happen to you this semester so you can get yourself a bit of a schedule and make use of the same asset that it, uh, your team over in practice are getting to do with their assignment timeline. And that's your quick update for week three.